Neck Diagrams is open showing the diagram gallery with just the default example pages. There are some example diagrams you can edit and experiment on. But we'll show you some of the core editing features. Press Command N to show the new diagram page wizard. We'll show you how simple yet powerful Neck Diagrams is by starting with a blank page. From the File menu, select New Blank Diagram option. Click on the page, then add a fretboard. And here's how you can add notes. Click on the Solid Round Note Marker tool. Add notes for a C major chord. Press Escape when done to revert to Selection tool. We don't play the sixth string in this chord, so let's mark that it should be muted. Select the Mute String Marker tool. Click in the space just above the sixth, far left string. You can also show that you have bar across the fretboard. Select the Bar tool. Join the top two notes. Now we'll show you how to add more information to the diagram. Let's change the title. Double click the title and enter C major, A shape. Hit Control Enter or click on the page to accept the edit. Let's set the root note. Double click the top left note to open the inspector. On the inspector click This is a root note. And automatically we're shown the intervals. Root note highlighting is something we can control in the fretboard inspector page. Double click the fretboard to show the inspector page. Toggle highlight root notes off and on to see the red notes go black and black to red. Let's make it clear where we're playing the chord by showing fret numbers. Click on the frets tab. Check the show fret numbers option. Let's make the numbers a bit smaller. Click on the specify a different font in the fret numbers font section. So now we'll use this chord to create a C minor 7th chord. Just copy the whole fretboard. You can copy and paste but we'll clone by holding down the ALT key, control on Windows. Click on the fretboard and drag to the right and let go of the mouse button when the blue outline has passed over the old fretboard. OK, let's show the string names on the new fretboard. Open the inspector. Select the legend tab. Check the Show Tuning option. Also reduce the size of the tuning font. So, if you know your theory, you know a minor 7th chord is made up of the root, flat 3rd, 5th, and minor 7th intervals. So we just need to take the root on a G string down a tone, and to flatten the major 3rd on the B string. Select the R on the G string and move it up two frets. When prompted, do you want to update the root note of the fretboard? Click No. We don't want to change the root of the chord, we're just moving the note, so we click No. Move the major third on the B string up one fret. See how the intervals automatically updated? Edit the title, change major to minor seventh. Now, how about we show fingerings instead? We need to set the fretboard to show fingerings instead of intervals. Open the inspector, select the board tab if not selected. Change the note marker labels drop down from intervals to fingerings. So we just enter the fingering we want to use by selecting each note and tying in the fingering. Select each note in turn. Can use cursor keys to move between them and enter the numbers. But wait, we want to show the fingerings and the intervals. How do we do that? Well, that's where the fretboard's legends come in. Open Inspector and go to the Legends tab. Set Row 1 Labels drop down to Intervals. But Neck Diagrams can also tell you what notes you're playing. On the Inspector, set the Row 2 Labels option to Notes. Save the diagram. Enter C chords A shape into the file name box. 
Let's create a new project as we'll maybe create some more pages focusing on C chords. Select the new C chords entry into the location to save list. Click OK. Now we'll see our page in the diagram gallery in our new project. 